here we can see a better picture of the Northern Garbage Patch, the Pacific Ocean Garbage Patch here. You can see that there are uh, uh, concentrations there. Uh, it's a, uh, a kind of the concentrations are kilograms per square meter. And you can see that they go from uh, 0.1 to 100. So this is a very, it's, it's an extreme area. It's a uh, very, very uh, concentrated and uh, we need to find a way to uh, clean this up. Next. This is a diagram of a machine which is presently actually working in the Pacific garbage patch. It's uh, on the left hand, you can see a floating uh, barrier, which is propelled by the winds. There are no moving parts to this device. Uh, there's no engine or anything moving it except the winds. As it drifts through the garbage patch, the uh, materials are collected inside the uh, curved wall that you see to the left over here. And then when the, when the wall is considered full, they bring a barge out and they scoop away all of the plastics that have been collected by this boom and um, they, they haul them away. There's also been some investigations by a company which wants to create a ship which will convert the plastic waste into fuel so that they can go out, collect the plastic waste, change it into fuel, use the fuel to fuel the ship, which goes out and collects more plastic wastes and creates more fuel. Uh, that's in the development stages right now. But this, this machine here, which was devel uh, developed in the Netherlands is uh, designed to remove plastics from the ocean and is doing a uh, really good job so far in the uh, prototype that they have uh, listed here uh, for that. 